Smith 98.1 here. We are in five o'clock hour. At the top of the hour, you know what comes five at five. I'm Shopa Martins. This is The Smooth Drive. And let me get into my random musings of the day to welcome you back from the weekend. Here we go. A little peek into what is happening right now in my mind. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is just, you know, it's always because you ha you're on the road. You're on the road for so long that you always find something to talk about on the road. And today, uh, in my on the road musings, I'm going to talk about um, my first musing. Bus drivers who will get the most upset when you don't allow them to bully you. I mean, I've never seen this thing, right? So when I used to watch films, I would watch these films and in the film, the villain would get really, really upset because the hero or heroine did not allow the villain to just kill them. The hero was like, no, I don't want to die. And the villain would get really upset. Like, why won't you die? Yeah, I used to scoff at that. That would never happen in real life. But it does, just in a different format. So they, these bullies on the road, the bus drivers, the guys in the big cars, and they will literally try and bully you off the road and try and, you know, insert themselves is by might and not by right. And then you will say, no, sir, no, thank you. I refuse to be bullied. I'm going to keep my space on this road. And they will just death stare you so angrily i've never seen it i mean i've seen it many times now ever since i came to nigeria and lagos in particular but boy yeah it's just the audacity i love it by the way if you have reactions to my musings or you've got your own musings make sure you send your whatsapp messages in okay the number is 0809 let me know what you think about what i'm thinking about and also just what you're thinking about Okay, so musing number two and uh, rant warning. This is a mild rant coming up. So I was listening to a conversation the other day and a group of women were talking movies. And you know me, I'm down for movie talk anytime, any day, anywhere. Even if I haven't watched the movie, I will still be there. My ears will be open. My mouth will be open. I'll be talking. I love talking movies. So I was listening to them and uh, it was an interesting conversation. That was until I heard them refer to a miniseries as a movie. Now, I don't know who needs to hear this, but they're not movies. They're series. And it, I, this is a pet peeve of mine, just that is very individual to Chopin Martins. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do you feel this way? Because for me, every time I hear someone talk about a series, I call it a movie. And I have so many of my friends and I'm like, okay, please don't do this around Chopin because she will start a one hour lecture about the difference between movies and series. But yes, yes, I will not hesitate to let anybody and everybody know the difference. Shantytown is a series. Far From Home is a series. Blood Sisters series they're not movies they have episodes they are not movies they are series and there you go that's my public service announcement thank you thank you thank you okay now speaking about movies and series do you have a favorite movie and this goes into my um third amusing by the way this is my third amusing so do you have a favorite movie or series that is just for sleep like you know that if you watch it you will go to sleep or not that if you watch it but you can put it on and then you can go to sleep for me this is difficult because you know you're telling me an interesting story i'm gonna watch it and i'm going to want to stay awake to watch it so anyway i've grappled with sleep for um as long as i can remember although recently i'm doing quite well um my brain doesn't like the quiet so it goes into overdrive and so instead of sleeping i end up thinking and i think a lot and so the only thing that helps me is having noise you know i've tried white noise machines they kind of work i've tried babbling brooks i've tried all of that but the thing that gets me is noise not not any kind of noise a specific kind of noise so i used to have a go to sleep album right and that was stranger on earth by lena and i remember the track i always 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 fell asleep on and it was third finger left hand that was my go to sleep track it was i think it was the third track on the album and i would be asleep by the end of the song all right but somewhere along the way uh you know and i think i discovered this when netflix used to put me to bed um I realize I actually now fall asleep better to series. And I think it's because of the people talking, you know, the people talking effect. So you feel like there's people around. I realize I like it when there's just people having conversations. I always fall asleep um, really well there on sofas and when people are talking around me. So um, now I can't do without falling asleep 
it's a series. I know people say, oh, it's bad for sleep quality. At some point or another, you know how the, the um, thing does. It'll say, are you still watching? Yes, I'm not. And then it'll put itself off. So anyway, my go-to sleep, in fact, my go-to sleep series and my go-to sleep series are, they're always the comedies. Like they're the ones I've watched a billion or a bajillion and one times. So um, these are my go-tos. The IT crowd, it is hilarious and I've watched it too many times to count. Um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, same thing, and Frasier. So the IT crowd, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Frasier, those are my go-to sleep series. Anywhere, anytime, I can fall asleep to them just because I've watched them so much. So I can watch them when I'm awake though, and I'll still be laughing and everything. But if I want to go to sleep, all I need to do is close my eyes and listen to them, you know, on low in the background, and then boom, I'm asleep. So there you have it. Uh, so do you have anything like that? Is it music? How do you fall asleep? Or are you one of those people who can just sleep anytime, anywhere? You don't you don't need much prompting. You just close your eyes and then you're off. Yeah, I'm not like you. I need help. These are my help. All right. Um, so my musing number four. I'm a list person. Are you? Now, let me tell you how I got to realize this. I was just thinking about... Um, my best days and my best days always happen when I prepare the night before and I know somebody out there is going oh, no, no kidding Chopin I know I know I know um, but seriously though my best days always happen when I prepare, prepare the night before and I think it's because I make lists and they give me something to hold on to and just to adhere to because I know myself if I don't plan ahead if I don't make lists um, I can while away 72 good hours doing nothing and you're gonna ask me Chopin what were you doing and I'm not going to be able to tell you. So that's the kind of person I am, right? I can while away my time just mm, mm, nothing, doing nothing. All right. So with a list, however, I'm a different person because I've realized I'm such a list person that um, when I make the list, I must complete every single task on that list or I will not sleep. And trust me, I mean it. I will not sleep. I must complete every single task I put on that list. And so I'm a list person. Just saying, putting it out there. All right. And um, musing number five. This is a musing that I know a lot of people have had over the years that they've been finessing themselves. Um, so <laughs> by, by they and themselves, I'm talking about our phones and our devices. And I'm kind of really worried about just how obvious our devices have become about listening in on our conversations, you know, because before it used to be at least a little bit subtle, you know, you would be talking on the phone, you would search for some stuff, then every so often, just like one little prompt, one little advert, it's just something to be like, oh, I think we've been, you know, we, we kind of know what you like. But now, nowadays, ah, they don't even, you know, when the, it's, they're doing it with impunity now, right? So I mention one thing. I don't even search for it. I just mention it one time and my timeline gets flooded with videos and sponsored posts the very next second. It's... And it's so obvious now, you know, I suppose because now everybody is used to, they're like, okay, so we no longer need to hide, no more undercover anything. Let's just do it how we do it. Um, yeah, so I'm just, yeah, kind of worried about how obvious they've gotten. But is it better to be obvious or is it better to be subtle? Either way, we know, right? There you go. And those are my five musings for this Monday evening. Do remember, send your WhatsApp messages in to 0809 Let me know what you think about the musings and if you've got your own musings as well. Coming up, 5.15, I will have the marketplace for you. So do keep it tuned.